Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to take the book title tag. So this is another one of those old ones. So this was created by Rachel and Katie from Ray K Reads, back when it was Ray K Reads, before it became Rachel Reads. And before, I think now she's not making videos at all, which is sad, but I'm on my mission to revitalize these old tags, and so we're going to go ahead and do it. I have a stack of books, which I'm holding up purely for the thumbnail here. Alright, so the idea behind this tag is you have to pick a book that resonates with your answer to a set of questions, and then at the end I'm going to tag a few people to take this tag next. So let's get started with question one. Title that's the story of your life. Alright, well this is kind of cheating because it is also my book, but it's called No Rest for the Wicked. So I think it is a pretty apt title of my life. I even, after I wrote this and released it, um, people were making a lot of jokes about it being pretty apt for my life because I never stop. So yeah, No Rest for the Wicked by Dane Cobain. Promo out. I promise there's no more promo after this. Question two. Title that describes your perfect weekend. So this I went for Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford because let's face it, who doesn't want to be lost in a good book over a long weekend? These books are also cool because they're very bookish books. If you haven't read them yet, there's a whole series. And basically, it's kind of set in a world where books are even more important than they are in our own world. And people can travel in and out of them and mad science and stuff is happening. It's like sci-fi, fantasy, magical realism all wrapped up into one. So yeah, check out um, this series. It starts with The Air Affair, which is about Jane Eyre. Question number three, title of an adventure you'd like to go on. Well, this one seemed pretty easy for me. I went for Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. And my copy is a super old battered copy from God knows when. The, the kind of plot of this book is pretty obvious from the title of this book. Basically, an English gentleman makes a bet that he can make it around the world in 80 days. Somebody else says, no, you can't. And he says, bet you are bloody can. And they say, bet you bloody can't. And he's like, I bet you are bloody can. So they put a bet down and then he goes off and tries to do it. And I'm not going to tell you whether he does or not because that's a spoiler. But that's the plot of this book. And that sounds like a nice adventure to go on as well. Question number four. Title you want to name your child. So I picked Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. The reason I picked Rebecca is because my girlfriend's named Rebecca. So I figure if we have a child, might as well just have Rebecca Jr. I mean, I've always thought because my name's Dane Cobain, if I have a child, like, if I have a girl, it's got to be Jane Cobain. In fact, my computer is called Jane Cobain. All right, question number five. Title of your ideal job. This is my favorite answer of all of them. I, I literally laughed out loud when I thought that I could answer with this book. So my ideal job would be Making the Cat Laugh by Lynn Truss. And this is a collection of Lynn Truss's um, essays. It's actually described as one woman's journal of single life on the margins. Basically, it just explores her life as a journalist and her love of cats, and I think it's wonderful. So, definitely recommend this out. Lintross also wrote things like Eat Shoots and Leaves and various other kind of grammar books, so she's well known as being a wordy author, I suppose, and uh, this didn't disappoint. Question number six, title of a place you'd like to visit. So for this I've gone for Dave Gorman, American Unchained, and you'll have to forgive the state of this book. It's been on a dusty bookcase. It's actually got wax from a candle down here. Um, but there's also a documentary series that accompanies this as well. So Dave Gorman is a British comedian and what he does is he goes on adventures and then writes his shows about them. So in the past he followed his horoscope exactly for 40 days and 40 nights for example. That's actually the first ever upload that still remains on my channel is just part of Dave Gorman's show. I'll link to it below. It's got like 90,000 views because I uploaded it in like 2006 or something. But basically, in this adventure, Dave Gorman went across America and he tried to go from coast to coast in America using only unchained mom and pop shops. So even things like his, uh, his gas, he couldn't go to Walmart or somewhere like that to get food. He couldn't just stop at any old gas station. Like, he'd be going down these old highways, these old trucking routes, being like, there has to be an unchained petrol station down here because if there isn't, I'm stuck. And what's really touching about this is this book's a few years old now and he even said at the time, you know, in five, ten years time, you won't be able to make this journey. It'll just be impossible because everything's getting gob gobbled up by these massive, you know, uh, global chains. So actually going across the country from coast to coast using only unchained shops was uh, a real challenge. And I think visiting that part of America, that unchained, you know, mom and pop part of America, that's the whole point of the American dream. And I think 
I don't know whether any Americans watching me would agree with this, but I feel like America has lost its way a little bit in the recent years. Question number seven, title of your love life. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. I went for Porno by Irvin Welsh. I couldn't think of anything better, really, to go with. So, um, and I think that face simply says it all. Number eight, questions you ask yourself. I've always, I've always wanted to know, there's been this question, and it's plagued me ever since I was a child. And I've asked myself over and over again, I lie awake at night with this question going round and round in my head. I've googled it and I cannot find an answer. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Question number nine. Title of a kingdom you want to rule or name? I really don't understand the or name part of this question. So, I've just gone for David Attenborough, Life on Earth. Because, yeah, I'll be supreme leader of Earth. That's fine. And uh, yeah, this is like 1973 or something, one of David Attenborough's published books, full of photos, full of information, kind of goes hand in hand with his documentary series. And I stole this book from, we went to stay at a cottage once and it was on the bookcases and I just took it because I wanted to read it. Question number 10, title you'd name your band. I kind of struggled with this one as well. So I just went on my TBR shelves and picked out a random book pretty much. And I think this is quite a good band name. So this is, Hackers by Stephen Levy. I mean, Hackers, that sounds like a band, doesn't it? I mean, I do make music. If you check out my channel, you can listen to some of my music. And Hackers actually sounds like the kind of name that would go well with my kind of bleak lo-fi music. So, yeah, Hackers by Stephen Levy. And this is the story of the heroes of the computer revolution. So, you know, Steve Wozniak and all this kind of stuff and how Apple came about. Stephen Levy introduces us to such characters as Steve Wozniak, who designed a computer to impress his friends and ended up forming Apple Computer, and Freaker, Captain Crunch, who discovered in a cereal packet a secret access into long-distance phone lines. They're so badass. I wish I was in the golden age of hacking, but I'm probably not clever enough to do all the programming languages. So anyway, that was the book title tag and this really was actually a lot of fun. So I suggest if you haven't done this, if you missed it like years ago when it was actually a thing, you should go and do it now. And inevitably, every time I post one of these videos, someone goes, oh, this looks fun. Yeah, if you're that person, consider yourself tagged and let me know when you've done it so I can watch you do it as well. But I am also going to tag three people in particular who, uh, and I think these are three people who are going to have some interesting answers to these questions as well. So I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian, Kit Kats can read and James Chatham as well so there we go you three in particular are tagged but if you're watching this consider yourself tagged as well thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit subscribe leave a comment to let me know which of the answers made you laugh or cringe the most whether you've read any of these books and I'll see you soon for another video thanks bye